for the last several years, we've been talking about wanting to do foster care. We know that we want kids. We feel like there is a need for foster care and helping out. So we thought that it would be a great fit for us. We know that you can adopt through the foster care system. So I think that we're going into it knowing that most likely we're just going to be a temporary placement for these kids. But we also have an open mind that we might be adopting. Tonight is the very first step towards that. We're gonna be doing foster care classes for the next nine weeks. Tonight's like the info session. So we find out all the information about it to make sure it's the right fit for us. We're on the way to it now. Yes, we are so excited, y'all. We've been looking forward to this for so long. And we're gonna take you along with us. For us, in the beginning, we had so many questions. We didn't really know like what the process was. So we thought this would be great for those of you that are also considering foster care or adoption or surrogacy. We're gonna talk about all of those things throughout the next couple of months and uh, take you guys along with us. So stay tuned. We're back in the car. We just finished our first informational session with the foster care. Overall, they answered tons of questions. Yeah, we learned a lot in, a, in an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Like we learned a ton of information. Yep. And at this point, we are still considering going next week. <laughs> yeah, that was one thing they said. They're like, I hope everyone comes next week. And if yep. you don't, that's fine. Just let us know. But we will definitely be returning next week. And we're just excited. We are excited. Yeah, so. We'll keep you posted. So we are officially halfway through our foster care classes. We're so close. We only have like three or two, two more weeks. Um, one, two, three, three more weeks to about four more classes. But we're making up that last class. In, yeah. And so we really only have two weeks. Yeah. So we have two weeks left and then we will be, so by the end of June, 2019, mm -hmm. we will officially be finished with foster care training and we'll yes. be able, we'll be licensed. So July, August, we'll be able to take placements. It was, it was kind of, um, we haven't updated you guys. So we recorded the video. Me. Flip it so we can. Yeah. So we recorded the first video on our first night, mm -hmm. walking into foster care. We were nervous, and then we haven't recorded any other ones. Truth be told, we actually got really nervous after our second class, and almost. Yeah, we were. We were almost going to not do it, and then we talked about it. We watched more videos on YouTube about families that adopted through foster care and families that did foster care, and we were like. If anything, we're gonna complete the course. So that's where we are now. We're completing the course. Mm -hmm. We feel very inspired about doing it and we're excited. We're so excited. We feel, I don't know who's calling us or what's calling us, but we feel very called to this for some reason. So we've officially done one, two, three, four. We've done five classes so far and we still have four classes left. Yeah, four classes left, but we will do those in two weeks. So yeah, that's just an update. We just wanted to give you an update since we hadn't given you really any and we're already halfway through it. So we probably won't update you again until we're finished. So well, until then, we'll maybe try. we will. I don't know. We will see. And then, uh, 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 uh. So it's the day before the first one. Really. First one. We have three total. We've been throwing out stuff, cleaning out the rooms, getting things organized. And we're so excited. So yeah, first of three. Oh. It's also Pride Month. <laughs> yes. This is our um, first Pride flag. Yeah. So excited. We have like Pride towels and Pride little baby flags, but that's our first big one. So anyways, yeah, we're just so excited. We can't mm. wait. Tomorrow in the morning. Oh, holy. So we're upstairs and today is the day. What's today? Today is our first home study visit. We yep. Three total, today being the first one. First of three. <clears throat> and we spent all night cleaning last night. 
the house has not looked this good in like months, maybe ever. Um, so yeah, we're so excited. She should be here in like one hour. Very excited about that. Well, we just had our first home visit for our home study. Mm -hmm. It went really smooth. Our worker who's doing it is so amazing. We Courtney, love her. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. We held her over for like an hour. We asked her so many questions and we yeah. actually have more. Yeah. And we were like, okay, I swear this is the last question. And then we came up with 15 more. Yeah. But she is very <laughs> thorough and she walked us through all the steps and like what to expect. And she's amazing. We love her so much. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so that's one of three. We have our next one next week. Probably our next two next week, and then yeah, our we home studies will be finished. Two next week. We only have two more weeks left, and mm -hmm. then we'll be completely finished with the process right before we go out of the country mm -hmm. for like 10 days. So perfect timing. Everything's really cool. Yeah, the next few weeks are going to be crazy and hectic, but we're going to be finished. So it's going to be like such a peace of mind right. to go on vacation with. So that's that, and we'll keep you updated. Well, what did we just do? So we just got all of our pets vaccinated because that was one of the things that was on our list of like 25 things to do for the <laughs> foster care program. We're down to like six things. One of them is just taking a family photo. That'll be easy. And Will then, it? With all the, maybe. getting all the pets in one photo. Tomorrow mm -hmm. we have a class for foster care. And then our last class is next Tuesday, which we're having to make up a class that we're going to miss that following Thursday. Yeah, they're letting us out of town. They're letting us take it early, so that's good. So really, we just have two more classes, right? Yeah, so we're almost oh done. Oh my gosh! So we have that, we have our last class Tuesday. We go out of the country for like nine days, starting Thursday, and then when we get back into the country, our house should be open to foster care kids, which is crazy to even think about. Oh, crazy, it's gone by really, really fast. Anyway, so it's a great, exciting day. It's a busy week, whoa. My hair is crazy too. Um, so yeah, we're super excited. One more thing off the list. Here we go. You talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so update. We just had our second home study. We have one more to go next Tuesday. Yep. These are our lovely workers. <laughs> are not our workers they're they're coming to our house to make sure that we got everything set right but yeah. um just wanted to give an update we've only got one more class and then after that we will be completely finished with that courtney was saying that we should be probably like finished and like submitted to the state and our home study should be back by like two weeks from now so yeah we're so almost there yeah it's all gonna happen in like Two weeks, three weeks, maybe. Yeah. Maybe one. I don't know. It's crazy. It's going so fast. Anyways, just wanted to give you an update. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so in like 20 minutes, we're about to attend our last class. Class. We had our last home study today. Our actual home study is finished. Mm -hmm. So we had to read that here in like 20 minutes. We were just finishing up, initialing some paperwork. And then then, coffee. Tonight's yeah. gonna be a long night because we're actually making up a class that we're gonna miss by being out of town next week. But well, by doing the makeup tonight, we'll be finishing a week early. So that's cool. So how are you feeling? I am feeling really optimistic. You know, I think in the beginning of this, we had some hesitations even into like the second week, but now I think we both feel really, really ready and I'm ready to just be finished with it. I'm just excited that we actually, it's been something that we wanted to do for like two years. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to think that after tonight we'll be finished and we can start fostering as soon as we get back from vacation, yeah. which will be in like 14 days. It's crazy. Yeah, our home will be open. So why don't we get going? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We finished our last class. We got a copy of our home study that we have to just kind of review tonight and make sure that we're good with everything. And then once we sign it, we'll give it back to our caseworker and she'll do a few last minute things and then submit it to the state. That should take like a week to two weeks. 
which will mean that we should be open in July. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to start taking placements, but we hope so. We'll see and we'll keep you posted. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So it's actually been two weeks since the last time we talked to you guys. Um, we were hoping for an update on our home study last week, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it got kicked back because of Thomas's background check. Yeah. But not in like a bad way, but because I changed my name whenever we got married. So they had to run the it background th check three different ways <laughs> of and, all the different names. And originally they had only ran it one way. Yeah. So that has to be done before we can get our house open. We got a text yeah. message yesterday from our caseworker with a possible placement, but our home That's isn't crazy. open yet. We're just, yeah. So we're not gonna get too much into the possible placement just because yeah. that may not happen. But the good news that came from yesterday's text was because of that placement, our caseworker is going to try to, who you guys met, her name is Courtney. Mm -hmm. She's gonna try to expedite our home study to, to get it approved. ASAP. Maybe today. So there's a good chance that it could get approved today. If it gets yeah. approved today, we could potentially take the placement that she was talking about yesterday. And, um, but we're going to... Meryl is so excited about that placement. She wants brothers and sisters. <laughs> Meryl, come on. Hold on, baby. We're doing an update. Yeah. So we just thought we would kind of walk you guys through this process with us because yeah. there are a lot of hurdles that you have to get through when potentially thinking about doing foster care. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at now. Well, we're also learning that there's a lot of waiting in this process. We've been waiting on multiple things and not at anyone's fault. It's just how the process goes. Right. But at the same time, it can also go incredibly fast. Like how yesterday we got a text saying, hey, we may have a potential placement that needs a home ASAP. So it's a lot of waiting and then things happening fast and then waiting again. So it's like a been a whirlwind, but we have actually really enjoyed the process so far and we're just really excited moving forward. Yeah, so I think that's it for now. Mm -hmm. We will obviously update you guys when we find out that our home is approved and open and our home study is good to go. Yes. As of right now, it is not. Nope. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be next week, but we will let you know. That's all, that's bye all. guys. BB. Update, we are currently on the way to meet three kids who potentially may be coming home with us this week. We were initially not sure if we were gonna get to meet them before, but I actually know the, the foster mom who has them. So we are getting to meet the kids beforehand, just to make sure it's a good fit for both the kids and us. But we're super excited. Everything is happening so quickly and yeah. Yeah. Very quickly. I'm, I was just telling PJ, I'm so nervous. My stomach is in knots. I don't know why. I think I'm just I'm so excited. Yeah. So we're not going to get our hopes up, but yeah. we are excited about it. So yeah. we're on the way. It's about a 15, 20 minute drive from where we're at. And then we will let you know what we think. Hopefully it's a good fit, but we shall see. Okay. So we just got back from visiting and meeting the potential kids. We had a really good feeling about it whenever we left. I think we had a little bit of uncertainty with the kids because of the fact that we were given a lot of information about them and we were just concerned, like, are we going to be capable of being good foster parents for the kids? I think that was our biggest concern. So luckily we did get to meet them, which I don't think is standard. We got home and then about 30 minutes later, our caseworker calls us and she says congratulations you are approved for foster care so our home is officially open which it means is now we can take placements which means we can officially take the three kids and we told them yes that we wanted to take the kids so potentially as early as tonight but maybe tomorrow or the next day we can have the kids here at our house so now the challenge is that we have to get our home ready so we need a crib we need three car seats. We need everything. We need Sippy cups, everything. Diapers. We have nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Because we didn't think it would happen this soon. It all happened so fast. It was. It's crazy. But we're so, so, we're so excited. Now comes the challenge of getting to work and making this happen. So yes. we're gonna do that right now. So we're approved, and we 
were going to get them tonight, but they thought that it would just be easier on everyone to do it tomorrow instead. So we said that's fine because we have to get a crib and three car seats anyways. So, oh so it should be tomorrow. Right now we are heading to this really neat business called Hope for One here in town. And they provide free things for parents like car seats and cribs and everything like that. So that's where we're heading right now to pick up a crib and a couple of car seats that they have reserved for us. It's really happening. And it is really real. Ah, oh, so excited. Okay, so that's where we're heading now. Cleveland Police Department donated a ton to us that oh, were new. Wow. And these are from like the ones you see in the box of these. Okay. So they're all, I mean, they wouldn't give you anything that's not safety regulated. Right. So good. Right. So. Going through some clothes right now for, this is just for the middle one. Those yeah. are cute. Mm hmm. We have a stripe theme going on. Oh my god. I do too, I do too, though. Well, we just got home. This is what we came back with. We are so grateful for Hope for One. They hooked us up with all this amazing stuff. Toys, diapers, diaper wipes, diaper bag, a crib. So much. Two-seater stroller, three car seats, a pack and play. Sippy cups, plates, literally everything that we needed. Did you mention stuff. diapers? Diapers. Like so many diapers. Socks, oh. clothing for all three kids. Mm -hmm. We feel very, very fortunate for them. So grateful. An hour ago, we had none of this stuff and now we feel even more ready. We're about to run out again to eat one last dinner alone and go to the store and get some more last minute things. We just ate our last meal as solo as a solo couple. Well, is that an oxymoron, solo couple? Yeah, I don't know. So that's that. Getting a box to go, enjoying last quiet night out because tomorrow everything changes. We're going to Walmart after this to go shopping for food. Too bad we don't have the kind of tubs that you can they are on subway tile. I can do that. You can't draw on subway tile? Us. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> you have enough bread? Yeah. So, I'm putting together a crib, which is something that I did not. <laughs> If you had asked me two days ago if I thought this was going to be a thing, I would have never said that it would be that quick of a thing. Yep, this is the crib that we got from Hope for One. It's actually a really, really nice crib. This is a really nice headboard. I just got finished organizing the pantry and putting all the groceries away. And PJ got to work up here. I think this is going to be... We're going to wait until tomorrow to put it together, but then... PJ couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I think we're going to keep... The kids in here. It's gonna look completely different when they get here, but this is what's going on for now. Should we do this? I mean, I don't think I could see him on the bed. Should I really? On the floor? Well, maybe on this bench right here? Like on the, yeah, maybe on the floor in front of the bench. PJ got together all of their clothes and hung them for them. We went to the, well, you guys saw we went to the store tonight and got them some toys, some chalk and some stuffed animals and some Play-Doh. And then we have all of the little girls clothes right over here, along with some wipes and essentials. So we're getting the room all set up. Crib is ready. The bed is made. I still would like to probably get some rails for the side here, but that's TBD for right now. Currently, it is 4.30 in the morning. I've been up since 2.30 because I can't sleep. I wasn't able to sleep really yesterday night either, but I'm going on two hours of sleep. 
there's something about it that's so terrifying because we're, Thomas and I are so used to our day-to-day -day life. We've been together for over nine years now and we're so used to like what we're used to and now we're gonna be adding three kids to that and we're just fostering. So it could be, you know, a week, it could be two weeks or a month or six months or a year. There's just no knowing like how long we're gonna have these kids. So it's scary. We're ultimately super excited. I found myself in their room. Well, we're not really sure whose room's gonna be who. We'll see how that goes anyways. So it's 7 a.m. I just woke up. PJ here has been up since 2.30 a.m. <laughs> Watched a little Handmaid's Tale, ate a little leftover steak. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to stay up for so long. Let's do coffee. So it is pouring down rain at the umbrella. And then PJ's in the back seat, hooking up the car seats that were so generally, generously given to us by Hope for One. Again, such an amazing organization. I don't know what we would have done without these. But we're in the process of hooking all three of them up in the back seat. PJ, you're doing a marvelous job, babe. So today is the day we are on the way to pick up the kids. It's an ugly day, of course it is. Yep, uh, of course. I wanted to do something fun outside with the kids. Mm -hmm. But maybe tomorrow. You know, it's funny, it hasn't rained all week. And I'm now taking it's... this as a good sign though, like on wedding yeah. day. Also, three car seats. <laughs> That's crazy. I can imagine, this is what I'm picturing. What are you picturing on the way home? Because I have a vision. I am picturing screaming and yelling because it's rainy and they're getting taken from where they've been. Yeah. And they're not gonna, they're just gonna be like uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I'm envisioning a lot of screaming. Mm -hmm. So, we will see how that goes. Goodbye. Okay, we just got to the temporary foster parents' house to get the kids. We are so excited. We are ready to do this. So, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we haven't updated. <clears throat> this in a while but the kids are in bed it's been a crazy week. couple day yeah tomorrow makes seven days yeah of having so a week of having the kids yeah which is crazy because it feels like it's been months it and feels... we're whispering because it's 9 30 and they we just put them all down to bed and they all went down <clears> like <throat> relatively easily tonight which has not always been the case yeah, so let's update you guys on all the, the feelings that we've had over the last week. Okay. So there was a lot of excitement. Mm -hmm. We were excited to get the kids, and then immediately after we got them, we felt probably some regret, like, oh no, what did we do? Yeah. It was overwhelming. We went from zero kids to three kids in one day, mm -hmm. and it was crazy. Crazy it was feelings. Really crazy. There were lots of... <clears throat> um, Lots of emotions. We were, like Peter said, super excited. And then we were like, oh my gosh. And then we were happy. And then we were not happy. That's one of the things that we're learning about parenthood or whatever you want to call this is that there are many ups and downs. The first, not the first day, the second day that we had the kids, the first day we were in bliss. Yeah. Oblivious to what was going on. We were just mm -hmm. so happy. The second day, my mom came over my sister drove in from Virginia Virginia Beach if you've watched the movie instant family it's just like that exactly like that yeah. and we watched that maybe a year or maybe about seven months ago and it was one of the things that really got us into it and it is literally like I feel like our life is a movie right now every day we learn something new we're making so much progress and seeing so many changes <clears throat> and we're just excited we're so excited yeah to be um, doing this the day we got them we had no we had i have changed diapers before had you changed diapers mm -hmm. like maybe i had changed diapers a few times but it had been maybe 
10 to 12 years since the last time I changed a diaper. Wow. So we had no idea what we were doing when we changed the diapers, and now we've changed hundreds over the last week. Because if you think about it, yeah. that's three kids who pee and poop in their diaper multiple times a day. Yeah. We have trained, trained, that sounds bad. We have taught the two boys. Today they both pooped in the potty. For the first For time. For the first time. I wanted to cry. I was so excited. They were so excited. It was like a light went off in their head. We're going to see how tomorrow goes with that. I'm hoping that they stick with it. But yeah. So yeah, there's lots of stuff. We'll get into more of that later. We'll be sharing some more stuff. We just wanted to give you guys an update right now. Oh, we got haircuts today. I got a haircut. The boys got a oh, haircut. Yeah. They picked out their haircuts. They look so, so handsome. So cute. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. Um, but we just poured a glass of wine. So yeah, we're going to go, three. yeah, we're, we're going to watch, go. get caught up on, Big um, Little Lies and Euphoria. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's really good. So we're tired. Um, that's it. That's, that's tonight. So good night. Goodbye. As you can hear, it's a lot louder. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I know. We have three kids who are placed with us currently. One of them really wants to be in this right now. Hold on, buddy. No, hold on, sweetie. Hold on. Every day is a little, and Play-Doh <laughs> is always a thing. We have our hands full, but it's been an experience. Lots ups and downs, lots of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. Hold on, babe. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. Some days we're like, what are we doing? Like, oh my gosh. And then other days we're like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing we've ever done. So it's been such a great, eye-opening experience. Yeah. And there's a lot of things misplaced around our house, like the lotion over here. I had to put that up there because one of the kids kept squirting and on their hands. And there's candles up there too. Oh, they won't. <laughs> Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you you in a second. Anyways, we just wanted to give you guys an update. We plan on doing lots of updates over the next couple of months. But for now, that's gonna end our video. We have really enjoyed taking a break, but we're ready to come back and share our lives with you guys. You guys know where to find us. We're PJ and Thomas over on Instagram. We are PJ and Thomas on Twitter. The Property Lovers on Facebook, and you can go to our blog, pjandthomas.com, to read our posts and shop our apparel. <laughs> He's coming. Okay, we gotta go. Bye.